Welcome to this tutorial in how to use Darktable. I'm going to talk about models that are already activated in Darktable and that you can't remove. Or actually you, you can, but you, you don't want to. So as we can see here, I have edited this picture. If you go to history, we can see all the models I have activated and configured. And if I click here, reset, That is how the picture looks like from beginning when you start editing in Darktable. And you can see here on the left side that some models are already activated. And on the right side, you have them here. And I can't go back any further. Nothing happens. Okay. So what kind of models are these. Okay, let's see. Here, raw, black and white point. You can turn it off. You can go, go here to the hamburger menu and pass through. And that is how it looks like. And you even, you are even able to see the black area here. So this is a Canon camera and Canon sensor. So they have some pixels masked out. But um, when you click pass through, you are able to see those black that those black areas too. Okay, let's go back to the normal settings. What about white balance? We can turn it off, and the picture will be like green. We don't want that. Highlight reconstruction. Hmm, nothing happens. Okay, it's because I don't have any blown highlights in this picture, but I do have it in this picture. So let's go to this area. And I can check here. I can see I have blow, blown highlights in the raw file. And a highlight reconstruction, let's turn it off. Okay, it became pink. Uh, And you can reconstruct color and uh, there are some settings that you can use. Anyway, you want to use this because you don't like, you don't want to have the pink color for blown out highlights. Okay, go back to the, my picture again. What more do we have? Demo psyching. And If we, actually I did have blown out highlights here. Let's activate that one again. And let's zoom into this area, 400 pixels, 400% zoom. Um, so, we can change the mosaicing method. And as you can see here, it does have some effect on some details. Anyway, you can just turn it off or use it with the color. But you don't want to do that, do you? Reset. What more do we have? Orientation. So it was already, um, what do you call it? Landscape mode. Do we have anything? No other picture in portrait mode? Okay, yeah. Let's take the next one. Input color profile, we can just take this one. No profile at all. So if we compress this again and reset everything. So these models need to be used or need to be applied. Uh, and um, it's the same for all raw converters like Lightroom or Capture One or DxO. Um, it's just that you don't see it like this. 
um, they don't have it they don't, or they don't show it for you like this so I hope this has helped you to understand why we need to have these models already pre-applied there is one more thing and it's in the settings here uh, processing and we can have auto apply pixel workflow and we can put it at display referred or scene referred and if we take display referred I think we will have a base curve let's reset uh, yeah take a look at that so then we also get the base curved but we can go back from that and if we take the scene referred let's reset again actually I want history we also get filmic RGB and uh, we also get exposure and back again and try the last uh, let's put it to none um, how to apply chromatic adaptation defaults we can have it to modern and reset and then we also get this one color calibration so the white balance model will put it to camera reference so it just passed through and then it will use color calibration instead okay so that's everything for today about pre-applied models thank you for watching